Hi families and students and welcome back to STEM with Mrs. Sawyer. I hope you've had a chance to view the first videos in our series. We have what is STEM, why is it important, and our first challenge, the bridge challenge. If you haven't had a chance to watch those, they're all linked on our website and you can look at them at any time. And just a reminder that the challenges can be done in any order that you would like. There is no particular order they have to be done in in order for you to complete them. So today I wanna to introduce to you our second challenge, the parachute challenge. So when we first start a challenge, we wanna think about what is a parachute? What do you think that is? You may have some idea of things that you've seen in TV and movies, but for the purposes of this challenge, a parachute is a device that is created in order to get items from a plane down to the ground safely. It might be a person, it might be some supplies that someone needs, but it, and it's usually made of cloth but some type of device that you can use in order to get an item from the air to the ground. When a parachute is open, it creates drag or wind resistance, and that's what allows it to float down to the ground safely where it's not going too fast or too slow, where the person may be harmed or the item may be damaged on its way down to land. So the first stage in the engineering and design process or the design thinking process, I've sort of combined them here for the purposes of this activity, is empathize. We wanna empathize with the needs of the people that what we're creating will serve. So today we're looking at creating a parachute. So think about the people that might need to use that parachute. It might be um, people who are using it for recreation, so it's good for their mental health, right? It makes people feel good when they get to do things that are fun. It might be people in the military or firefighters that are using it in order to get people into an area that might not be easily accessible by car. Or sometimes what is dropped from a, a plane to get to ground using a parachute is a supply item that again, may be harder to get to that area due to land restrictions um, or maybe some natural disaster that's happened in that area. And so we may need to be able to get food or clothing or some other type of supply to the people in that area safely. So think about the people you wanna serve with your parachute and think about what their needs might be. So next we wanna define the problem. So once you've thought about the needs of the people your device is going to serve, define the problem that might be in the way for that group of people. So is it that the population you're looking to serve has been through some type of natural disaster, maybe a hurricane or um, some type of fire, um, volcano eruptions are natural disasters that can cause it to be difficult for people to get supplies. Or maybe you're looking to solve a problem for people in the military that need to get to remote areas in order to help other people. Maybe firefighters need to get to an area in order to help fight a fire, again, that they can't get to by car. So again, you're deciding what that problem is. Is it a land problem? Is it a problem with supplies? Is it a problem with a group of people that is in an area that is not easy to get to? So you define the problem that you want your parachute to help solve. The next stage in the process is called ideate. And remember in the ideate stage, this is our brainstorming stage. This is where no ideas are off the table. I want you to be as creative as you can and think of all the ways that you might be able to solve the problem that you have defined. So when you are thinking about your, your brainstorming stage, you're gonna think about that parachute that you're creating and the people you want it to serve and think of any possible solution that you might be able to come up with to solve that problem. Use any kind of paper that you have at home, brainstorm with a friend or family member if you can, and think of as many solutions as possible to solve the problem that you've defined. The next stage in the process is the prototype and testing stage. This is where you're gonna look at your brainstorming session and pick the design that you think will solve the problem best and that you can create using the materials and time that you have. You're gonna build a prototype. Remember, prototype is a model. You're just building an example of what that would look like if you were to build it for real, where people might actually be able to use it. And then you wanna test it. So you wanna recreate the conditions that would exist if this parachute were used for real. So with a parachute, we know we definitely have to have some type of wind or air resistance. So think of all of the different things that you might need to create and do the best you can to recreate that um, for your testing of your prototype design. 
So the next stage is the iterate stage. And as I mentioned in the bridge challenge, my favorite stage of the process. All of them are wonderful, but I really like the iterate stage because to me, this really um, exemplifies what STEM should look like. So with the iterate stage, you're gonna look back at that prototype and the testing that you did, and you're gonna see what went well and what didn't go well, and what can you do to improve upon your design. Maybe it didn't work at all, and you need to completely go back to the drawing board and rethink your prototype. If that's so, then do that. Maybe you just need to change one part of it in order to make your parachute more successful. So again, you wanna go back and iterate just means to repeat as many times as you need to, repeat it over and over again if needed, until you are able to improve upon that design. Once you've done the iterate stage, I want you to see, can you take it further? Once you have a successful parachute, can you make that parachute hold more weight? Can you make it go further than the original parachute did? What can you do to challenge yourself to take that parachute, parachute design one more step? The last stage in the engineering and design process or the design thinking process that I want you to work through is the share stage. This is where you share your design with others. It can be a sibling, it can be a grown up in your household, um, just someone around you that you can kind of talk through the process, what went well, what didn't go well, and talk to them about the, the prototype that you designed and how your testing stage went. This is a really important stage of STEM and definitely should not be skipped. And I would love for you to share your designs with me. I would love for any pictures or video that you and your grown up may have taken during the process. Um, and you can email me, um, send them to me on the website. There's multiple ways, um, the feedback form that you can get those images to me. And I would love to see what you've created. I just wanna thank you again for joining me, STEM with Mrs. Sawyer. Again, my goal with these videos is to remove any barriers you may have to creating STEM activities at home with your child. I want you to be able to use materials that you already have without having to purchase anything. And then I would love for you to continue to come back and visit me again next time for our next challenge. Um, but please be sure to check out the website and social media accounts in order to stay on top of what we have going on at STEM with Mrs. Sawyer. Thank you again.